What's up, people? True Engineer here. Uh, welcome to True Engineer's personal finance classroom where we do video tutorials, book reviews, I assign homework assignments, and we do so much more. For the next 12 weeks, we're going to go through and I'm going to show you how to make a spending plan. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. Okay. So this is week one. Uh, in today's lesson, we're going to go through banking basics. Okay, so just now outline, we're going to talk about three, not all the accounts, but three accounts I think are really important. A checking account, a savings account, and a money market account. We'll do a very brief online exercise. I'll go through your homework assignment, and then I'll summarize what it is that we did today. Okay, so the three account types, okay, that I want to focus on today, the first of which is a checking account, okay, which is an account where you have access to your money and typically you either write checks or you have electronic transactions through your debit card. A savings account is much like a uh, checking account where you have access to your money once again. The difference here is you typically have limited access, but the benefit is you get interest. So you get the chance to make some money. Uh, the bank pays you to hold your money. Uh, and the final account, which is a mixture of both uh, checking account and savings account, is a money market account. So you get the best of both worlds. Um, the, the the caveat, I guess, is since with a, a money market account is typically, even though you make a higher interest rate, typically than a savings account is you have a limited number of transactions that you're allowed to have during a particular uh, cycle, monthly period of time. So just one thing to be aware of. Okay, so let's talk about the number of accounts. I, I have a recommendation. I think the number of accounts every person needs to have. You need to have at least four. Okay, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. First of which is a checking account and a physical bank, brick and mortar, okay, where you want to have a human being, you, someone you can go in and talk to, okay. The second account you need to have is a savings account at that same bank, and this is more to prevent overdraft protection and things like that. Uh, we'll talk more about this in some of our other sessions, as, you know, but have a savings account linking up when you go in the bank and make sure it's set up such that you can event, uh, if you ever have insufficient funds, it'll take the money from your uh, savings account so you avoid that overdraft uh, fee and then uh, the third account which is a, is a, is a, is a, is a second savings account is an internet based bank so you can get a higher interest rate again for your savings and the final account is a money market account also internet based and we'll do a little exercise in a little bit talking about those how to identify which ones are best and this is more for your short mid or long term goal really short to midterm goals not really long term but in the future in the next few weeks I'll do a class on um on 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 how to make what are good short midterm and long-term goals but today just want you to know about what an mma is okay so here are a few tips okay i don't know about you but i work hard for my money um because of that i want to protect it and one way to do that is make sure whatever wherever i whatever bank i chose i choose to use make sure it's fdic protected okay so that's important the other thing is again um I don't want to get nickel and nine. So I want low to no fees. Okay. The third thing is I want ease of access. Okay. I don't want to drive a hundred miles or however many, I don't want to be driving all day just to get to a bank. Okay. So I want to look for banks that are in my proximity. We're going through exercise in just a bit to, over this. Okay. And then other thing I want to look at for my internet banks is again, protected, safe at the IC little, no fees. Okay. Don't you nickel and dime me now. All right. But then when I think of ease of access here, what I'm thinking about is, are there any requirements? Many of these banks have requirements on how they ho holding periods for your money. For when example, I had one account at one point in time, they had to hold my money for five days. I ain't trying to do that no more. I don't bank with it no more. It's too much. I, I don't want to do stuff like that. And then ease of use. Is there is there actual website easy to navigate through? Do you, do you understand? So these are things that you want to do. Okay. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to go to and do a very brief internet exercise is we're going to go to this website and once you write this down www.bankrate.com i'll be back in just a second okay we're back and what i'll show you is we've gone to www.bankrate.com as you can see here and what i want you to do we're going to go through and identify a checking account that's local so i want you to click on checking and savings here you see it click on that and from there i want you to go to the find a checking account section here once you click on local and do non-interest checking, okay, trust me, it's important, and then click search. From there, 
you gotta figure out where you live. Let's say I live in the Chocolate City. I'm gonna click on the District of Columbia, uh, DC Metro, nine interest checking, search. From here, what you do is gonna have a series of banks that are in that area that are local to you. And what you wanna look at these columns here, if you click on any of these columns, it'll actually, you know, organize or sort the column by the, the heading. So you, the first column here is minimum balance to open, how much money you need to open the account, the minimum balance you need to have in order to avoid fees, how much their monthly fees typically are, what their non-sufficient funds uh, fees are. If you don't have enough money in your account, how much they're gonna charge you. And then these other and ATMs are, are uh, charges if you use other ATMs and additional surcharge on top of that. So from here, you would try to identify which account is best for you. Um, I kind of cheated. I kind of looked at this a little bit ahead of time and I can tell you, I think that this account right here is probably best. Only dollar open zero zero thirty zero zero but again I don't know how it depends on where you live are there lots of these banks these are things you need to keep in mind okay so with that being said let's get back to the presentation okay we're back to our presentation and now what I'd like to do is give you your homework assignment so what I want you to do is go to that saying the first thing I want you to do is go to that that same site we were on bankrate.com and identify one checking local uh, savings online and a MMA card all MMA money market account online that is best for you those are three things I want you to do. You have two weeks to do that. The second thing I want you to do, and I want you to do this every day for the next 12 weeks, is start recording your transactions. Don't try to change your lifestyle or anything. Just record your transactions, okay? And what I've done here, I'm showing you what I've used, I found to be very helpful, is I, I got these dry erase boards at Target. And this is one that's actually for my yearly. I have a monthly one as well. But uh, what I do is I put the, the category item, um, the dollar amount, and how much you can see here it's nothing written here because simply I don't want y'all to know how much money I do or don't have so so far this year I haven't spent anything on clothing I haven't spent anything on gifts I haven't seen anything on auto maintenance but I have bought a few books okay and as you see I, I use a Roman numeral system showing okay this to me says forty dollars I've spent forty dollars over how much I'm allowed to spend for the whole year um, and again you can actually write the number again just something that's easy for you that's what's absolutely most important i like the idea of using receipts i bring it home and i just go to dry erase board and i write it down and i'm done and i just monitor you know i'm showing the pointer not my finger uh i monitor okay is this amount the amount that's written here is it less than what's written up there so in this case looking at books is this amount here less than what's written there okay you get the picture okay that's your homework assignment okay so summary what did we talk about today we talked about the different types of accounts. We talked about a checking account, a savings account, and a money market account. We talked about minimum requirements you need to think about with doing a bank. Make sure it's FDIC insured, you know, little to no fees, uh, proximity, all those types of things. We went through, we did a very, very brief exercise on bankrate.com. I encourage you to follow up on your homework assignment and really spend some time with that. Again, I gave you your homework assignments. Homework is good. Um, and again, really start recording your transactions. I know, uh, try to do it as, as the, the most efficient way and something that works for you. Again, find something that works for you. I showed you the dry erase board. That's what worked for me. And it's very simple. Again, keep your receipts right on the board. At the end of the day, I post it in my kitchen because I go buy it all the time. Okay. So next week, we're going to come back and I'm going to do a book review of The Richest Man in Babylon. It's a phenomenal book. Uh, very cheap. Great read. And it's about paying yourself first. So I hope to see you all next week. Uh, good luck with your homework assignments, and uh, I will catch you later. Thank you for your time. Peace.